this. What's going on, YouTube? So we got something different we're gonna do today. We are gonna teach my wife how to do an oil change. So we're gonna start off with grabbing all the tools, the jack, jack stands, all the safety measures. We're gonna go through everything step by step. All right, let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need wheel blocks. So the car doesn't roll away. We'll put two wheel blocks in the rear. Next thing we're gonna need is a 14 wrench. We'll throw that. Right now what I'm doing is I'm throwing everything in my bucket so we can carry it over there. Next thing we are going to need, a set of gloves, a set of rubber gloves, rubber gloves. We're gonna need, let's turn you around this way. We're gonna need an oil pan. Take one of these and uh, we're gonna need an oil filter too. Let's use, well, take one of those. We're also going to need an extension and put this over here. get in here we're gonna need a long extension we'll take that with us and a bigger ratchet and a 3 8 ratchet uh let's bring this first and then we'll go from there and we'll grab the jack jack stands etc Okay, next thing we're gonna need, we're gonna need a jack. So, grab the bars. And the jack. I'm gonna need my hands for this because it's a little heavy. So, so you don't hurt your back, make sure you grab with two hands. Bring it up, right? Bring it down, use your legs. And that's all there is to it. Next thing you're gonna know, we're gonna do is we're gonna put these bars in. I'll show you how it works. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna let my wife do it. All right, we're gonna start off by grabbing this bar and the end with the square in it. It's gonna go towards the bottom. But before you do that, make sure you unscrew this. I always leave them loose because I do it so much. I unscrew it and then I install that in there. You'll know when it's all the way in, when it falls in, yeah. So once it's all the way in, just screw it by hand. Again, you don't need to like, you just by hand kind of tighten, that's it. Next thing is this pole. This pole is pretty common sense. Yep, press the button. There you go, and now we roll it down to the car. Alright, first thing we're going to do to start off is we're going to put these on. So put those behind the back of the wheel. Put one on each side. And then make sure like you always give it like a little kick so it's in there. Go to the next side, give it a little kick so it's in there so it doesn't roll back a little bit. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the hood. So, if you wanna do it. Usually, when you pop in a hood, the hood release is located 
above or on the side sometimes a little more towards the rear um there's one of there's a few cars that they're located right here but that's majority of the time they're located on your this side of the vehicle once the hood is open you're gonna pop the hood the way you pop the hood is you come down here and you see right here there's a little latch some cars have it above some on the side some actually pull out but majority of cars you pull to the side of it Hold on. all right go once you've lifted it all the way up you put this into the spot yep. there you go next thing you want to do is remove the oil cap Okay, after unscrewing the oil cap, make sure the oil cap always goes here, just in case, because you do not want to close your hood and forget to put the oil cap, okay? So next step is, we are going to jack the vehicle. So we're going to take the jack. And you're going to roll it underneath the vehicle. You roll it underneath, then you can go under and look at exactly where you put it. Okay. All vehicles have jacking points. If you see, some are different kinds, but most have an indentation in the body of the vehicle. Ones that are body on frame, they will have a solid frame where you can put it up on. This vehicle goes onto the body, so we're gonna jack it up right there. She said I'm a favorite, it's probably cause I'm famous. I can't let her get too close to me. And she got so much drama, all she want is karma. Such a prima donna, such a prima donna. Armed and dangerous She could give a fuck about a wait list At the chateau, acting like she A-list Fake friends, fake gas, and a facelift uh, And she only eat no bull uh, And she only shot whole fools uh, She only wanna show face, she don't care about a good time And she bad for my health, but I don't mind I can't believe a word she said do is we're gonna put the rubber gloves on because this is where it gets a little messy so we're gonna grab the oil bucket and we're gonna slide that underneath the vehicle okay you're gonna grab your 14 millimeter wrench okay so once you get down here you're gonna see two pans. You're gonna see this flat pan. That's your transmission. Usually your oil pan will have more of an indentation. If you can see, that's your oil pan. Plus, most of the time your transmission plug will be flat. Most of the time. There are cars out there that are not like this. There also are cars out there that don't need transmission services. So that's your oil plug. And when loosening, remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Once you loosen this, oil will drip down. So gonna... prepare your pan. Oh, is it gonna drip on my face? It could. Ew. So break it free. Uh. 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 Okay, so for people and I'm saying women and men, because they are men out there that cannot do this. 
if you feel like you cannot break it free, then try to look for something that's gonna extend out longer so, so that you have more leverage. Okay, so what you wanna do is you, you put your wrench, you set it up there, you take another wrench and you set it up inside of it. Then you pull down on the other end of the wrench and that's how it breaks free. Here, let's tighten it up and let's let you try. Okay, put this on there. So you're loosening, not tightening. So you do the reverse. Yep, and then you grab the end of the wrench and you don't, yep, and then you pull down on it. Okay. And there you go. Look how easy it was to break that free. Okay, for okay. the record, I so broke it. So once you... <laughs> for huh? the record, I broke it free before he got the tool. Yeah, she did. She did break it free. <laughs> While I was walking away looking for the tool, she did break it free. But I did want to show people that can't break it free how to do it. All right, that's all you want to spin it. Okay. Now you want to move away from the oil plug and you want to set up your bucket because this is going to shoot out. Oh my God. So you want to put it there and then I'm going to move back. The oil is probably going to get everywhere. Are you doing it? <laughs> so what am, I, what am so I prepared to do though? You want to unscrew it by hand uh -huh. and then once you get to the end, uh -huh. you're going to pull it out really quick. And you're going to let pull the... Pull this out really quick? Yeah. And you're going to let that drain in there. And remember, always have eye protection. She wears glasses, so that is good enough. Oh, yeah. And then right there, you want to pull over it. And then, yep, keep your hand in the oil bucket. So let the oil drain out of your hand. Always have paper towels prepared. Usually have at least two. One to put the oil filter on top of. So you want to put the oil filter on here. I mean, the oil plug on there. And then this one to wipe your hands. So you don't make any more of a mess. And then you can walk away from the oil pan while that drips. All right, so the next step is we're removing the oil filter. This is a oil filter claw. This is one of my favorites for metal oil filters. If it is a plastic oil filter, that means there's a cartridge. Those use specific size fittings to go on top or in the middle of it all right next thing we want to do is we want to put the oil plug back you screw it in by hand first all the way it's good perfect then you want to snug snug it on there you do not want to over tighten it just snug it connect that to there and then the oil filter is up there you see it? it's orange and black mm -hmm. uh, yep push up there you go you see how it fell because you didn't hold it but now because you already loosened it you could just screw it off by hand now yeah and then what i do especially with the nissan versus hold on i put this this cardboard right here so that when it comes starts to pour down it pours down onto that cardboard and then that's why I put the cardboard so it goes onto there and it's not falling all over the place. You can hold it with your finger so it doesn't fall off. Then you just remove the oil filter. All right. So what you want to do is wait before you put it back on. You dip your finger and you go like that around the, the gasket. All right. Just a little bit, that's it, that's good enough. 
Here, you wipe your hands. Is it okay? Yeah, it's perfect. Here, wipe your hands. All right? It's not all the way around. It, it's it's good because once you spin it, it's gonna like spread it all the way around. Uh -huh. It's just enough for like it's like lubricated when it goes on. A second thing you want to do is look at that oil filter and make sure that oil filter's rubber seal did not come off with the car. All right, good. So it's still on there, so you don't have to worry about it. What I like to do is I like to take this rag, uh -huh. go where the oil filter goes up there, uh -huh. and wipe the surface clean, just so that there's no debris in the way creating an opening on the gas now she's gonna put her hand up there snug it tight by hand you do not need tools to tighten the oil filter next thing you want to do after everything's tightened on the leaf put your funnel into where the oil goes into once it's on there then we'll grab our oil and pour it in but before you pour your oil make sure you know how many quarts of oil your vehicle takes and you just go slow don't over like pour what i was explaining to her was on the side of the bottle you have your liters and you have your quarts so this car takes 4.4 quarts of oil it's 4.3 to be exact. I always add a little extra. So we want to be a little bit above the half of quart. After you're done, you want to remove your pan, put it onto the napkin over here so you're not dripping oil everywhere. Good job. Next, put your cap on. She pulled up in a Benz truck, came up from a C-class uh, She gave me head with the seat bag, uh, old news uh, That was last week, I thought I told you And she only eat no bull, uh, and she only shot whole fools uh, She only wanna show face, she don't care about a good time And she bad for my health, but I don't mind I can't believe a word she said On the dipstick, there is a level right here so you're gonna see two dots. The upper dot is for hot. When the vehicle is already warm, the level should be up there. When it's cold, it should be in between the H and L. So we're gonna check the... oil level. And we are good. Oil level is good. All right, we're back. We're back in the van, nice and warm. <laughs> so, what'd you think? How was your first oil change? <laughs> um, it's really cold. It was, it was really cold. <laughs> um, it wasn't as bad as I thought, and but it was the hardest part. I think was. Um, like the oil filter part where I couldn't really like see exactly yeah. where it was and this car was a little bit more difficult to get to the oil filter and if you didn't understand the cardboard part with the oil hitting the cardboard and coming down to your oil pan it makes a big big mess but you did pretty good for your first <laughs> time I gotta say she did do really well doing that oil change um you know maybe if you keep doing it Practice makes perfect. Am I right? Uh, uh just <laughs> leave it up to you. Dude's garage here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And again, don't forget to subscribe. If you like these videos, subscribe to my channel. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.